watch the birds And I wonder why God didn't make them To walk like you and I I see them fly high and low And soar on wings as if no place to go I once was jealous of their gift Till the word of God gave me a lift They spin Come on, Cal! Up in the sky. Sometimes it's just It just takes a while for them to want to come Because they're eating and grazing And they find something because it's rained And all that kind of stuff But they have no clue what's in this field right here and only one or two of them have been in here. Anyway, <clears throat> the whole purpose of this video is basically to let everybody know I had this dream. And so, at this point, if you're not interested in a dream from God, you can turn it off. But if you're interested in what I'm going to say, uh, I'll go ahead and carry on. About two years ago, I had this dream and it was around July 2016 I'm not real sure of the date but since I did post it uh, on Facebook I have an idea of about when it happened but anyway I don't normally remember dreams I'm not the kind of guy that you know wakes up every morning and remembers whatever dream I dreamt the night before I just almost don't it's almost like I don't dream I know I do. I know that, you know, that's just normal. But I normally don't even remember the simplest dreams. So, basically, I was asleep and I had this, what I would call a vision. I was, uh, all of a sudden, I was in this big hall, this big room, and it was so big that it was it was bigger than a stadium all I could see is it's kind of like stadium seating but there was no seats it was more like a, a this humongous choir platform or something where you would stand and uh, all as far as I could see were people including myself in white robes and we had crowns gold crowns on our heads and as uh, as I looked, I could I could see all these people. Man, I tell you what, these little turds sure are loud. Um, I could see all these people, and all of a sudden, I heard somebody watch. I really believe it was an angel because it was like I knew it was an angel, or something of that nature, something in heaven. And it spoke in my head. It didn't speak where I heard it with my ears, which is really weird. And uh, I also knew at that time that we had just come from the rapture. I didn't see anything up until that point. All I know is that all of a sudden we were here and this person or angel said the unpronounceable name of God is and when he said that every one of us that was standing there we were basking in this presence of joy all of us said with our mouths and yelled as loud as we could hiya and then the dream immediately ended and i woke up and it was amazing how i felt when i woke up because i could still feel the joy in the presence of i guess being in heaven or the angel or all of us being there I don't know the real meaning of the, the dream and I wasn't sure what it was at the time I just know that it really affected me and I want to call it a vision more than a dream so I I didn't understand what haya why haya was this word and so I always just thought growing up we watched Hong Kong Fui right and Hong Kong Fui he used a haya when he karate chopped and I was like that's that's the only thing I've ever heard haya being used as so uh, my brother looked it up and he gave me a, a description of what it said and and uh, I thought it was just unbelievable 
So when you look this up properly, you figure out that haya is actually the plural form of aye in the Hebrew. And aye is what Jesus used when he spoke to Moses at the burning bush and said, I am who I am. So when you use haya, you're speaking of the triune God. That's the truth that God's unpronounceable name would be Haya. This was two years ago, and I feel like an idiot for not doing anything about it. I mean, I shared it on Facebook, uh, but it's not enough. I shared such a small version of it. I, I didn't share a lot of the details because I'm guessing I'm assuming everybody can see the detail that I saw. So I have to kind of explain that, you know, some of these details like like the joy and the presence of being in heaven and the amazing feeling that you get. Um, it's just, it's not something you can describe. And also the fact that we were all wearing white robes and we had golden crowns, that's so unusual for me to dream anything like that. It's, I've never dreamed anything like that before in my life. And uh, the, the fact that this being this angel spoke to me in my mind and not in my ears that was that was like I didn't realize that I needed to talk about that till later because it it was I heard him but it wasn't with my ears and it just it just doesn't make any sense but uh, that's the way it went, went down and uh, other details are you know the fact that I couldn't really see the end of the people there was just so many people um, and we were in such a such a huge place I couldn't see the end of it and then all of a sudden I woke up uh, and it was an ending on a specific word it was haya and then it was ended and I'm not exactly sure what all that means other than you know God has a name yod heh vod -Hey, which is uh, Y-H-V-H and it's unpronounceable you take it for what it is you know, I'm hoping I'm not rambling on, but I felt like I really needed to share that. I know there's not too many people that watch my channel, not too many subscribers, but uh, somehow, somewhere out there, somebody's going to want need to hear this. And in God's Word, I did learn that Jesus said, he would return and when he comes to take me to my home on high. That's the day it's my turn to fly. I will fly. I will fly.